Well, hello, hello, everybody. It's Christmas here at Nigel No Snacks. My name is Nigel. I know snacks. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, today's Christmas. The 25th, so get off my back. Anyway, I got the perfect Christmas sex. I got this hot chocolate with marshmallows and peppermint puffs from hers. Some sweet winter style treats. Let's, <laughs> who knows? I'm very loud right now. Alright, so my friend Noah sent me a picture of these with no caption, because that's what that's just what happens a lot of times. And I said, oh shit! And I just he, we were having a conversation, but I was looking them up. And uh, I was with my girlfriend and I found them at a Menards about a mile and a half away and we left in like ten minutes and I bought them. Cause this is perfect for for me, for you, for today. So I'm gonna get into these first. I guess we can kind of talk about them. They both got a blue palette, mostly. Blue and red and brown. I don't know. There isn't... I'm not... Hers... Hers is like basically my favorite. Ah! Smells like uh, Cocoa Puffs. Can I get some light in this motherfucker? Okay. Cool. Yeah, this smells like... It smells like cereal. But like... Kids slash don't need to live cereal. Mm. It is weird because it's like the cheese puff idea, but just sweet. Yeah, I forgot to do my nails again, but whatever. That looks weird. But it's just like a white puff with chocolate powder on it, so you can't get every. You're not gonna get every inch, I guess, centimeter. That's not my middle finger. Hers hot cocoa and marshmallow. Flavored snack balls. Alright. They'll keep you warm inside. Hers has rolled all the cozy, heartwarming flavor of cocoa and marshmallows into these bite sized morsels. With sweet satisfaction. So, whatever the forecast is outside, Conditions inside are warm and delicious. Freshness guaranteed. It is strange that for once these aren't signed off on by uh, President Ed Hur, whose name and signature are usually on every bag. Let's do it. With this one. This is weird. They're not as like chocolatey as I thought they would be. There's something about the uh, the puff itself that feels weird. Like getting the chocolatey taste and then the aftertaste of the corn puff is a really weird combination. I'm not really getting any marshmallow taste. It's just kind of chocolatey, which would be fine if they're just like hot chocolate. Putting the marshmallows in seems like a little trick. They're not bad. I can't see like walking around with a bag of these. Maybe like in a bowl at a party. Little kids will lose their shit over these though. That also definitely leave a mark. I'm all chocolatey. Peace on earth for Christmas. I'm gonna edit this out. I feel like it should be about here. Set them up here. That's fine. Okay, so the peppermint puffs. Noah, I sent him a picture because I found these too. He didn't know about them. He was like, ugh, disgusting. I'm an animal. No, no thank you. I don't know. Peppermint, a peppermint puff is uh, very exciting to me. And I want to try it. These are really inflated. Like, it's hard to get... A decent grip on both sides. Oh. 
Oh, all right. I'm going to get in there. It's closer than look. That is a minty smell. Oh my gosh. First peppermint puffs. Also says flavor snack balls. Which is just weird. I can't get over it. A new spin on an old favorite. Hers has swirled sweet peppermint into an oh-so-satisfying crunchy puff to create a snack that will thrill your taste buds and delight your senses with every delicious crunch. Those are very minty. Also, uh, in Daredevil, it always bugged me when Foggy would say oh-so in front of something. Honestly, when anyone does it, it's like, get over yourself. Oh-so-satisfying. Yeah, just say satisfying. Or into an incredibly satisfying. Oh so is unnecessary. I hate it. Getting a little minty right off the bat. Maybe I licked it all off, but it's not that minty once you bite into it. Also, I forgot to show you a close-up. Oh my god! There you go. It's just white with red stuff. It's not a big deal, but uh, traditions are important. You gotta stick to your traditions when you run a traditional YouTube channel. Someone might unsubscribe. I don't know. It's kind of the same thing as the cocoa ones, like. It's a good flavor, but then when you finish it and all the uh, the corn puffiness taste comes in, it just the combination feels weird. Let's see if I can get red stuff on my hand. Oh yeah, it comes right off. Oh, I'm covered in red dots. I knew it was there. Now this is what I wanted to do since I bought them, which was a couple weeks ago. It's a big mixed handful. Of course I dropped them. <sighs> Minty chocolate? Come on. Huh? My nails are filthy. I'm sorry. It's so dry in my mouth now. Oh, that was dumb. Luckily, I'm great at blaming myself. Okay, I'm gonna give it another shot, but with just two of each. You know what? One of each. I can't even really taste anything now. I don't know, man. Yeah, all right. All right. Hers, uh, hot chocolate and marshmallow and peppermint puffs. They're all right. They don't give as much flavor as you'd hope for, but... I don't feel good. I don't think this works for, like, sweet stuff, really. Maybe, like, if it's sweet and hot. Like, you throw some honey chipotle chips at me. I got some of those. Uh... You know, mango habanero, but just straight up sweet on like something that 39 times 6. 6 times 9 is 54, and then 6 times 3 is 18. So it's like 234. Is that right? I think it is. Oh, but these. Okay, all right. I know this isn't that interesting. Both of these say a uh, serving size is 28 grams. This one says that's 39, and this one says that's 30. So they're, they're exactly the same size. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I don't know. They're fine. I would not. I'll probably, these will be around for a while in my house not like on the market um i'll probably throw away like half of them because they went stale but i'll snack on them every now and then 
But uh, these are, I'm not gonna buy these. Just cause, sweet, sweet corn puffs is weird. Merry Christmas, if you don't celebrate Christmas, have a great December 25th. Or just, well, I don't know what else is going on. I'm not a religion expert. Just have a good day. Go outside and, I don't know, start a snowball fight with some orphans and let them win. They're orphans for Christ's sake. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.